Hello, this is Lou DeVentura, CFI candidate at Big Sky Aviation, uh, located at the Millville Airport in Millville, New Jersey. Uh, today's uh, lesson plan is about the ground re reference maneuver uh, for the private pilot practical test, and that uh, maneuver is called the S-turns uh, across a road. Um, you can find that information here in the practical private, pri private pilot practical test standards booklet. Uh, developed by uh, ASA for the FAA. Um, also, I'm going to hold up here a diagram for you, okay? And this is what I'll be uh, working off of. And I will also put another diagram uh, up later on um, and describe how um, the S terms are to be, to be completed. <clears throat> okay, so what is an S term? So basically, an S term is a ground reference maneuver that we use a straight line of um, say a fence or a road um, or a railroad or something like that to uh, look out of the aircraft as we're flying and to do these 180 degree symmetrical turns around the road okay and the reason why we teach us uh, CFI is we teach us to make our student pilot proficient in wind drift correction okay and basically uh, what's happening is um, we're teaching students to, to develop uh, the ability to fly a series of these symmetrical S terms um, across a line ground feature um, using bank uh, to compensate for wind and ground speed uh, the semicircles on both sides should be the same distance from the you know from the from the line ground feature uh, at a constant altitude also um, the FAA has some completion standards too that we have to abide by uh, in order for the student to pass that practical test. Um, and uh, what he needs to know, um, and he, as far as the student, what he needs to know is for the completion. Uh, he needs to know the elements related to the S terms. Um, he needs to select a uh, suitable ground reference uh, uh, reference that's relative to the wind, uh, because again, wind is the, the the main element in this whole uh, lesson plan and uh, without the wind he really can't see the effect of how he needs to use bank to compensate for the wind drift correction. Um, he needs to plan a maneuver between 600 and 1000 feet above ground level or AGL and uh, that's perpendicular to the wind direction. Um, he needs to apply the wind drift correction and banking to create the semicircles on both sides of the road and he also needs to divide his tension inside the aircraft and outside of the aircraft as well. And um, again, maintaining the altitude and the airspeed that's that's designed for this um, maneuver. Um, now, it's commonplace too also for the student to cur make errors um, in learning this whole process of this lesson plan of the S terms. Um, so the main the main errors that we see as CFI uh, instructors is that we see that uh, a lot of students do not clear the area first. And what I mean, what I mean by that is clearing the area is looking for traffic, conflicting traffic that's above the aircraft, below the aircraft, left and to the right. Uh, again, when we do this, when we do these maneuvers, we want to make sure that that area that we're working in, the airspace that we're working in, is clear of traffic. And it's also important too to make some radio calls too uh, to let other people know that. Uh, you know that, that we're doing these practice maneuvers out there in that practice area okay so not clearing the area um, not the incorrect uh, entry and if he does this and again we're, we need to have the wind behind us um, he might be flying and have the wind perpendicular to him he doesn't want that you want the wind behind you when you start this maneuver um, uncoordinated flight uh, a lot of students um, are not used to using the rudder and using the banks so it's very important to be uh, work with your feet and work with the rudders in the left and right turns. Um, a lot of students fixate on the instruments that are ahead of you instead of looking outside again this is a ground reference maneuver that needs to be done by looking outside not in the aircraft 90 percent of your eyes should be outside 
10% should be inside. Just looking at your altimeter to make sure you're at 2,000 feet or whatever altitude, altitude that you started this maneuver at. Okay. Um, and also, the main thing would be the improper uh, wind drift correction that the student is not using. Um, again, when you start this maneuver, you need the wind behind you. And when the wind is behind you is when you make the steepest turn. Um, if you don't make the steep turn, what's happening is you're going to have to elongate that semicircle and you're going to have a short side on the other side. So that it's really important to uh, um, make sure that this um, wind drift correction is being you know maintained and, and used properly. Um, I guess they would also too probably uh, lose track maybe of their ground reference. Uh, I would assume if they're not, you know, because if, they have, if their eyes are fixating too much inside the aircraft and not outside, um, so it's a possibility they could be uh, losing their ground reference. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up a, a picture now uh, of um, the S turns maneuver, and I will narrate it and go through with you step by step. Um, to let you know how this maneuver uh, is, is to be completed for the FAA. All right. The area uh, that you'll be practicing in to make sure there is no obstructions, any uh, wires or anything that that's going to be cause mishap to the aircraft and yourself. And also, we don't want any any other uh, aircraft in the vicinity too. So, make your uh, aircraft calls and and keep your eyes vigilant outside to be sure that there is no one. Uh, that's going to be crossing your uh, territory there as you practice. Okay, so we have the, our ground reference in front of us. Okay, we have the wind behind us. So we're actually right now on downwind. And again, this is all relative to the wind and using bank uh, to compensate for wind and using your wind drift correction to compensate your ground track. Um, so we have the wind behind us. And on figure number one, as we cross the road, immediately we have to turn into a steep bank. And the reason for the steep bank is to keep us on a symmetrical pattern that we need to keep. If we, if we made a shallow turn, now that wind is going to be behind us, it's going to be pushing us further out, and we're not going to have that symmetrical turn. So immediately cross the road, in figure number one, we're going to go into a steep bank. Okay. Now, as we get 90 degrees of the road and if we're looking out if we're a pilot and we're looking out to our left window uh, we'd be able to see a road there with the wing so at that point there we're going to be doing just a shallow um, moderate bank um, because now the wind is pushing us away so we don't want to go too far away from the our ground reference there um, now as we turn from figure two to figure three it's still going to be a shallow bank and again this all depends upon the wind how strong the wind is too so uh, it's all dependent upon the wind and how how much bank is needed uh, during the course of doing this maneuver um, so we have a shallow bank and we're approaching now uh, the ground reference and at that point there we have the wind in front of us so now the wind is slowing us down and our ground speed is slowing so we should be able to cross that route at a perpendicular uh, point there. Now, from three to four, we can't do a steep turn. We need to do a shallow turn. And the reason for that, too, again, is if we do a steep turn, we have the wind in front of us. If we did a steep turn, it's just going to push us probably right parallel to the road, and we won't have a, a symmetrical uh, line there. So we need to keep that a shallow bank um, in that procedure from going from three to four in those points there. Okay. Um, going from <clears throat> number four to number five, now we have to steepen the bank up a little bit. If we do, if we keep it shallow, then again we're not going to have the the symmetrical uh, circle that we're looking for. Um, throughout the maneuver, uh, it's it's important to have a constant attitude uh, that that needs to be maintained, and the bank should be changing um, during the semicircular uh, procedure going around um, this maneuver. Uh, again, it's changing bank and it's constant attitude. And this this whole maneuver again is for the student's benefit to show the student what's important and how the wind uh, affects um, your ground track, your ground speed, and everything that's pertinent to doing this maneuver correctly. Okay, this concludes our. Uh, ground lesson plan on S turns across the road. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions, 
uh, please feel free to leave them uh, on uh, the comment section there. And uh, again, it's uh, my pleasure to have uh, given you some insight on how to do S-turns across the road. And uh, happy and safe. Talk to you soon.